Thank you all so much for having me. I love getting to come and talk about Amnesty's work. The work that we do is compelling and troubling, but it's also a great chance to involve more people in the work and to really have the kind of impact we're seeking to. There are more than 65 million people who've been forcibly displaced from their homes in the last few years. So Amnesty's big call is to increase the responsibility sharing of all governments of the world. And one of the things that your activists could get involved in is working with local city councils to adopt resolutions that welcome refugees into those communities. In the last year alone, Amnesty has successfully freed 144 prisoners of conscience. And we do that with folks like your members who help us write letters, demand that governments take action to free those people. One year ago, in June last year, we put out our first report on the use of lethal force by police. And what we found is that in all 50 states and the District of Columbia, not a single one comes close to the international standards. We're leading state-level campaigns in Maryland, in Louisiana, and in Missouri to push state legislatures to actually put these standards into law. We're together in, in seeing the importance of the movement for black lives. Um, and so I'm curious just to hear a little bit more about what it's looked like on the ground when you've been in places like Ferguson or Baltimore. We've been really, really eager to make sure that the voices of protest, particularly around Black Lives Matter, are given freedom of expression like any others. And a lot of our deployments, not only in Ferguson, but also in Baltimore, were focused on protecting that right to assemble, that right to speak freely. On behalf of the millions of Credo members, and certainly all of the members of our action team and our employees, we want to present yes. Amnesty with this. That's person. awesome. <laughs> Thank you. That's pretty awesome. I've always wanted to hold one of these. <laughs> As a recent partner in Credo's monthly donations program, does Amnesty have any plans for what you plan to do with the grant from the May election? Absolutely. <laughs> so actually, um, the campaigns that I mentioned earlier, those are our priority campaigns, and we're definitely going to be taking these resources to help lift up that work. So police accountability, refugee rights, and our third area of work is human rights defenders. And all of these will be priorities for the next four years, so it gives us a great chance to really advance those campaigns and help get our message out, I hope, to a lot more people. All the work that we do is to be able to generate these donations for progressive organizations. And we're only able to do that because of the Credo members. That money that comes from the revenue from those relationships with those members is what funds the donations for the progressive organizations and all the activism work that we do. It's also what motivates us every day to come to work. And when we have these folks come in and talk with us, we're completely energized by what they do. So we thought, let's share it with the members who make this possible. 